A diverging lens has a focal length of magnitude 23.8 centimeters. Locate the images of each of the following object distances. So part A, locate the image Q. Part B is the image for the object at a distance uh, for each of these distances, are they real or virtual? And then part C, for each of the distances, are they inverted, upright? And then D, what are the magnifications at each of the distances? So we need to find the object distance, and so we use 1 over P plus 1 over Q equals 1 over F, the thin lens equation, and then we solve for Q by isolating it, so 1 over Q equals 1 over F minus 1 over P. Then we can do the common denominator and do the inverse and find that Q is equal to P times F divided by P minus F. So all you do, your focal length is magnitude 23.8. Now listen, if the, if the lens is convergent, the focal length has to be positive. If it's divergent, this is a diverging lens, then the focal length has to be negative. So F is equal to negative 23.8 centimeters. So you're going to plug in negative 23.8 here and here. And then um, on each of these, 46.7 will go in for P on the first time, 23.8 on the second, 11.9 on the third. So let's just do the first one, 47.6. So 47.6, you plug in those numbers, and you get that Q is equal to negative 15.8667. And notice that you'll have a Q value and a P value, so you can find the magnification. Magnification equals negative Q over P. And since Q is already negative, that ends up being a positive number. But since Q is negative, it's a virtual image, and it wants to know if it's upright. So because M is going to be a positive number, it's going to be upright. And the image location will be in front of the mirror. Or, I'm sorry, in front of the lens. It's not a mirror. And so the way that it works is if I, if I have a lens here, I don't, so if I am able to shine light on it and it scatters, this way and this way, then it will appear that my image is back here. That's where it will appear for, for somebody who's seeing this light. The image will appear to be uh, behind the lens. And if it appears to be behind the lens, or I'm sorry, this is the front face of the lens. Where the light comes from is called the front face, and where it goes through is called the back of the, of the lens. So if it appears to be in the front of the lens, then the image is uh, is going to be a virtual image because light doesn't actually pass through that point. It just looks like light passes through that point. So I'll go back and I'll plug in some uh, more numbers. I have actually I have all these problems set up on an Excel spreadsheet. I made an Excel spreadsheet calculator. You can purchase it on my blog, and I just plug in the numbers and it gives me the answer. So for a object distance of twenty three point eight centimeters. Uh, Q is negative 11.9, M is 0 0.5, the image is virtual, upright, and in front of the lens. For object distance 11.9 centimeters, Q is equal to, so the image distance is equal to negative 7.933, the magnification is 0 0.66 uh, repeating, and the image is virtual, upright, and in front of the lens. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure you check out my blog. The link is down in the About section of this video. And on the blog, you'll find cool stuff like other videos for the same chapter. And you'll also find uh, little download links where you can download calculators to uh, basically just punch in your numbers and solve these exact problems. So you won't even have to watch the video if you don't want to. The last thing I want to say is if you leave comments on YouTube, of course I will get around to responding, but I'm much faster if you leave them at the bottom of my blog, right down there. Enjoy your day.